In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a custom domain to Netlify. So here we are inside of the dashboard. I'm in the team that I've created and we're on the sites section. Now I've imported my GitHub project. So if we scroll down, you can actually see it here. It is a to-do list application. So if we click on the app, um, by default, it is using the Netlify subdomain. So if we click on that, here is the app. So we can create video. We can add that, right? This is a functional app. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect a custom domain to this. So once you've clicked inside of the app or the website, go to domain management. And what you can do, you can go ahead and click add domain. So here is the Netlify subdomain, click add domain, and then find your own domain. So I'm on Hostinger, but you can use any domain registration company. You then wanna go to your domain portfolio, go to your domains, and you need to go inside of the back end of your domains. So I'm gonna use knowledgebasevideo.com. We're gonna to go to DNS slash name servers. And what you need to do is make sure that you can get to the DNS area where you can add DNS records. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reset the DNS records and make sure they're all default, and then we can start to add them. So while that's resetting, what we'll do is we'll copy the domain name. So my domain name is knowledgebasevideo.com. I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in here. So www.knowledgebasevideo.com. Then we'll click verify, and it's gonna say it's already registered, which is a good sign. It means we own it on Hostinger or any other domain registration company. You can then click add domain, and it's then going to say here, awaiting external DNS. So you wanna click on this, and it's then gonna tell you exactly what they want you to add. Now do note, this can take up to 24 hours. So let's go ahead and add this together. So what we need to do, we need to create an alias, a name, or flattened C name record for knowledgebasevideo.com, pointing to our load banner at apex-loadbalancer.netlify.com. So we'll create the C name record and we'll do everything that this says now. So you go to your domain registration company. You wanna to go to the back end of your domain to where you can add DNS records. Once you've done that, click on type and then change it to C name. Now what we can do from here, we can go ahead and copy the first one, which is gonna be knowledgebasedvideo.com for me. This will just be yourdomain.com. You can then paste it in here. You can also use at, that's the same, but just for the sake of the video and following the instructions, and we'll paste in the domain. Now for the target, you want to paste in this apex-loadbalancer.netlify.com. So copy that and go ahead and then paste it into target and then click add record. Once you've done that, it should then successfully create the record. Now for most of you, that's gonna be all you need to do. Now, if you can't create an alias, uh, a name, or a flattened C name record, you might need to add a fallback record, which is going to be an A record pointing to this IP address. So if you can't add this record for whatever reason, you will go ahead and create an A record and make sure the A record points to this IP address. So I guess we can add this as well, just as an additional fallback. So A record at and the IP address, make sure they're all correct. That is conflicting with an additional A record on this domain, but we are gonna confirm that and override that. And then what I'll do is I'll actually delete the A record it's conflicting with. Now this is only gonna be a fallback record, so don't stress about this too much. Just add the first one that I showed you how to add. Now once you've done that, you can basically go ahead and exit out of this page. Now it's gonna say here, we recommend setting www.knowledgebasedvideo.com as your primary custom domain, because right now the custom domain is Knowledge Based Video. So we'll click on options and we'll set www. as the primary domain. Now it is provisioning a certificate for the site, so you are gonna to have to just wait until this is all up and running before we can change that. And But just add those records and refresh, and it should then go green like this. Now we can set it as the primary domain. If that doesn't work, we need to scroll down and just wait for the SSL certificate to propagate. I'm gonna click verify here, and that should then be successful. So now let's see if this does work. So we'll click on our domain name, and right away it says that the connection is not private. This is because the SSL certificate is most likely still generating. Even though it says it's successful here, uh, it might not be fully generated and propagated yet. This can take up to 48 hours. Now this issue might be brought on because I did also add the fallback A record, which again, I did say this is not necessary if you have already added your CNAME record 
or your C name alias here. So the fallback record only add if you can't add your C name record. So I'm going to delete that. Now this can now take up to like 52 to 72 hours I do believe because the you're just waiting for the DNS to propagate and the SSL certificate to be generated. If you go to a website like dnschecker.org you can paste in your domain. So we'll copy and paste in our domain right here. And if everything's going to be all green it means we've done everything properly. We just need to wait up to 48 hours for the DNS to propagate and the SSL certificate to generate. So that is all you need to do. Just be patient and your domain should connect shortly.